Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is April. I go by Ruby Rouge here on the YouTubes. Today we're going to be reviewing the Ofra Cosmetic Liquid Lipstick Trio collaboration with Jen Loves Reviews, otherwise known as the Metamorphosis Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. Oh, I feel like I'm missing a word. Set. The word was set. I have played with these a lot over the last 48 hours and I've taken a lot of photos and some videos. I'm going to share that with you while I do a voiceover review of what I've kind of come what kind of conclusions I've came to in the last 48 hours or so. Ofra liquid lipsticks are one of my favorite favorite brands of liquid lipsticks. So this review was kind of more about just playing with them and the actual product and the transformations. So it's kind of an easy review in a way, but I did put a lot of work and effort into it. I hope you appreciate it. And so let's get started. I picked up these lippies because one, they're from Ofra. The Ofra formula is definitely one of my best all around formulas I have in my collection. It is incredibly dependable more affordable than most liquid lips and just a really nice wear time and they usually wear off really really well obviously some shades are even better than others but i do feel like every shade that i've ever purchased has had a good formulation i like the idea of the color changing product i mix my lipsticks anyways i have always done it i like to play with my makeup period but sometimes I wish I had better mixing colors. Sometimes I wish I had lipsticks with the perfect undertone or the perfect amount of white in the formulation. And the idea of having a dedicated product that does this in my collection just really excites me. So my expectation of these was that they would be perfect mixing shades, meaning they would have put a lot of thought into the color pro profile of this product in regards to how it will transform the other shades, how it will mix with the formulas and the impact of color. I, I, I enjoy Jen Loves Reviews content. I do not mind supporting her in this endeavor and I really, really wish her the best. And based on what I've tried on this collaboration, it was a really good decision. Things that I personally look for when testing these out are, are they good on their own? the transformation ca capabilities did they work how did they work with other lipsticks that i own how hard was it to apply and do i think i'm actually going to use them that's really really important for me especially when i'm trying to recommend product for review do i think you're actually going to use it that's number one question these are over liquid lipsticks so if you like the colors they work perfectly on their own the colors aren't the best for me personally revive is a little too concealer sealery but kind of cool if i'm going to go for something like a little dead that kind of just really washed out look um refine i liked but it did make my teeth look just a little bit yellow on its own and um my favorite was reimagination and it's just a little, little tiny bit patchy on its own, but that's kind of common for the darker Ofra liquid lipsticks. These really were able to transform my lipsticks into something else. I am not sure whether or not it's so much better than if I would have just picked out my own lipsticks with that in mind, but honestly, I didn't think of it. I, I've never really thought to purchase a lipstick for that specific purpose. So now that I'm thinking of owning a product to specifically change shades, I can kind of see what I want out of that product. I feel like the transformation power of these shades leaned a little cool toned for me, especially Revive, which is the lightest shade. I felt like when I was using this one, I ended up with a lot of grayish. It has a very, very pinky base. Once again, with the middle shade, it has a mauve base and it leans a little cool in my opinion. I did feel like um, I ended up, like I said, with a lot of grayish colors, but I like grayish colors and it also could just be a reflection of the colors that I already have in my collection. I felt like um, Reimagination, which is the darkest shade was the most neutral almost even warm at times but it's also you know it's pretty pigmented and it's pretty dark so did these work well with other formulations first of all the formula is listed the same as every other Ofra lipstick that I could find I didn't do a deep dive into this but they seem to be exactly the same across the board um, with a lot of may contain information so you don't I don't know that you ever really 100% know what each particular liquid lipstick contains. I don't know. I, I didn't, I did, like I said, I didn't deep dive into this, so I'm not going to make too many claims here. 
Um, they perform the same as all the other ones that I have. Revive was a little bit thin, but white bases and cosmetics always seem to be challenging. And my closest comparison was Ofra Aries. It was also a little bit thin. It had a very, very similar texture. Um, despite it being thin, it does add this level of opaqueness to patchier or more sheer colors. So I find the best way to work with this is to kind of put it on, let it set just for a second. It'll start, to, as it dries, it'll start to kind of thicken up and then you can kind of, it gets a little tackier. Then you can kind of add in other stuff. Um, otherwise it's really, really thin. Um, and if you try to move it around too much, it can almost kind of, I don't want to say bleed. It's like, it's like it runs almost. Um... I felt in general because I love the Ofra formula so much that mixing these tended to improve the formulations of any other lippies that I did mix it with. As far as mixing these with formulations that aren't long wearing, creamier formulas, it didn't completely transform them. It did add a layer of longevity to them, but they didn't become completely long wearing. How messy is this? That's important to me and I'm not going to pretend that this didn't get a little bit messy at times. Liquid lipsticks can get messy to begin with. One mistake with a high pigment and hard to remove product and suddenly your whole makeup look can be ruined. Um, I have a couple of tips for this and I will share with you in a minute but I did find that these did get a little bit messy from time to time. I'm not going not gonna to sugarcoat it. When I'm out and about for the most part, I really like my makeup to be as fuss free as possible. I don't like to be running to the bathroom or staring in the mirror the whole time. That's one of the reasons I like Ofra liquid lipsticks. I have a lot of confidence in them. Um, but reapplication is a thing. If you're eating or drinking or just wearing them a really long time, you're going to have to reapply. And honestly, mixing them might not be the most practical thing. It can get a little messy. It can stain clothes and fingers. Um, and around your lips depending on how you go about it. I'm not sure that these would be the product for me being out and about trying to mix my lipstick like at a party. Um, I'll probably use them on rare occasions but I'm just like picturing me with like stained lipstick finger hands and I, I don't know I'm just kind of flashing back to last year when I used to do things like be out and about and I would see myself grabbing my mirror and sneaking away for like five seconds and I would reapply my lipstick as fast as I possibly could and the products I can do that with are the ones that I typically reach for in those types of scenarios. The fussier stuff I leave here for filming on YouTube and I tend to not recommend it as much because it is a little bit fussier. You know, last year I did a video about red lipsticks that are awesome because you can actually wear them out of the house and they're kind of maintenance free and fuss free. I'll link that in the cards if you do want to check it out. That's just something that's really important to me. Another thing worth noting is that these are probably going to go off a little bit sooner than your average shade. The problem with mixing these is that you're going to be contaminating them, especially if you use the doe foot. The problem with trying not to use the doe foot is going to be that's when it gets really, really messy. Carrying around a lip brush just isn't really all that practical. Mixing on your hand is going to be incredibly messy. And because they don't even, like you can't just put this on your hand and then wash your hand. They need some sort of oily base to get it off. So it's like, it's a whole another level of kind of a mess once you do get these on you. So they're much, much, much easier to mix if you just suck it up and say you're going to use the doe foot and then they, they're probably going to expire soon. Because you have to think, you're getting all of the contamination from not only current contamination but you know anything that was in that previous lipstick is now going into this one as well so just something to consider They're, they might not last as long they might last forever who knows i want to share a few of my favorite tips for wearing liquid lipsticks um one of my favorite tricks with ofra lippies you can do this with lots of different long lasting lipsticks but they it works really really well with ofra lippies it makes them ultra comfortable whether I'm going to be wearing lipstick all day, or my lips were just feeling a little bit dry, or I just want to share them out. I will lay, add a layer of Burt's Bees Original Balm under them. It's an incredibly waxy balm, so it holds onto the lips like a lipstick. The formulation of the Ofra Lippies melts into the wax and makes them a little bit more like a traditional lipstick. They are still longer wearing, but they do lose a little bit of their longevity when you do this, but they can become incredibly comfortable and they make a really, really nice stain. Another tip that I have is to carry a concealer in your bag. 
I carry a concealer pencil, which is awesome for reverse lining the lips when you get a little bleeding or smudging, and concealer samples or deluxe minis are great if you actually get the stuff on your face because it's a little bit messy and darker colors will often stain even if you do manage to get it off. I did mix a few of the Oprah Livies that I already own that were pretty similar to these together to compare them to Jen's Metamorphosis Trio. We can look at those and I'm gonna wrap this review up. I'm gonna leave this video here. I don't regret my purchase. I love Ofra Liquid Lips. I'm happy to have a few more. Had this not been a collab product, I probably would have purchased anyways, but I probably would have waited until I could have gotten a better sell. I did get the $10 off of the Trio, which was still a really good price, but a lot of times you can find Ofra Liquid Lippies for $10. I would have rather paid $30 than $40. I don't think that these are a must-have product, although the idea is really cool. It can also be accomplished with things you already own. I also think that if you're a more warm-toned girl, you might want to look for similar ideas with more warm tones. Also, if you if you have never played with making, mixing your lipsticks together, I suggest you would probably try it out and give it a run before you buy a bunch of mixer shades. I didn't love these on their own. Um, I, the colors were okay, but I, I think Ofra makes, I don't know, they make so many colors. It's so easy to find your perfect shades that these just weren't quite my perfect shades. So I don't see me wearing any of these on their own, but you know, that's really it. Um, great, uh, good product. I'm not unhappy with my, like I said, I'm not unhappy with my purchase. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Let me know if you bought these down below. I'm really curious. Let me know if you think, if you're thinking about buying these and let me know what your favorite liquid lipstick is if you have one. And I will see you guys again in the next one. Bye.